Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use uh, use history and use locations on React. So let's begin. So I have already created the the video to about the uh, React router. Uh, so if you guys are interested about the watching this video how the react router works with the nested then I have created the example with the examples I have created a really nice video you guys can watch this uh, Videos here if you guys want to know about that But this video is I'm going to only focusing on the uh, use locations and the uh, use History of, On for the uh, react router zone. So let's begin. So this is the uh, the documentations of the react router and this is uh, the easy way to create a react applications and you can install the react router dom like this so i already let me check i do have it install or not okay i don't have a react router dom installed so let me install that so npm i react router it's called dom okay so it's going to install it here and I also run this my uh, react server and uh, front-end server which is running on the localhost 3000 okay so my currently it looks like this this is my applications so I'm gonna change this okay so it's installing that uh, the react router dom here which is good so this is my app.js that comes with a boilerplate and I'm gonna remove this now I'm going to remove this class okay logo stuff I don't even need it okay so now it's a blank so I'll just maybe write it the test here okay so once I wrote the test then I can see a test here as you guys can see so the first thing I'm going to add the couple of the bootstrap class just to look a little nicer and this is a quick way to get started with the uh, CSS framework and uh, it's very easy to create uh, so let me add that CSS here the link CSS on index.html so I can use the couple of the component from the bootstrap so let me grab the navbar because I want the navbar navbar will basically do a routing so I'll just copy that navbar and I'm going to create a new folder here called the components okay so inside the components let me create the navbar JS. So in navbar.js, I'm going to create a functional component. So React uh, Expo. So there is a shortcut which we can use RFCE. So on this, when we do this, then we will see the, uh, the navbar functional component easily. So how I use it is basically I use the extension called React here, something called uh, not this guy, React. This one, React uh, Redux GraphQL native snippets, which we can use it easily and we can get that uh, shortcut. We don't have to write it down. We just need to type that shortcut and we will it will generate me uh, the functional component. Okay. So I grab the navbar. So I'll paste the navbar here. Okay. So I'll paste the navbar. So it looks like my navbar has a couple of issues with the closing stuff. Okay. So it was there. Maybe here okay so now i'll just save it so my navbar looks fine here so now i'm going to use this navbar component on app component here so in app component i'm going to call that navbar here so now let's see how it looks like i of course i need to input this here otherwise it will not even work and let me also double check that uh, i have the react router installed or not Yep, it's successfully installed here, React Router DOM. So now I could take advantage of using the React Router DOM. So I don't want this terminal to show up. So I'll just put it down here. So now let me see. Okay, looks like the navbar is already show up. Looks good. Okay, it looks good. It's already show up here. Nice. So now let me edit a couple of the things here. So just to make the uh, navbar really simple, I don't want this, all this, uh, nap uh, bar so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close I'm gonna delete a couple of things which I don't even need uh, let me delete that okay so now I have only two call home and links let me change this to about okay 
so so now I have it only two here which is good so now in app what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to use the router here okay so now let me use that router and the first thing is I need to import the uh, browser router uh, okay so browser router from uh, react router DOM okay so we could change this browser router to router if we like so I can change as a call use the router for browser router so I can use this router now here and I need to put this navbar inside the router okay so once I have it here so now I will not see any issue it's, it's fine so here now I could able to use the, the route okay so there is something called route which we can use it and in the route it's we're getting from react router dom okay in a route uh, we could able to tell the path okay if it's slash which is home page that it need to go to where it need to go to home okay so home is I haven't created the home component now so now let me create that home component as well so the home component is basically nothing similar like a nap but uh, let me create that if quickly react function component export and this is the home component here just say a home component that's it we don't want to do anything else so now let me import this home here from home component okay so once we have this it's always better to wrap this route inside the switch statement because in switch basically it tell that if its path is empty like slash then it goes to home okay so now let me create another route as well so if it's about then it need to go to about okay so let me create that as well so in about I don't have a about now so now I need to create another component as well so let me create the about let me copy this and put it here just to make a life a little easier and just to change this to about so now I need to import this about from about component okay so now let's see how it looks like so whenever it's refreshed first time if it's slash then it goes to home so if I click it about it should goes to about but if I put it here about then it goes to about and if I put it home it goes to home okay so now the our router is working fine but the we don't have a link on this uh, nav so now let me put that link on the nav so let me go to nav bar here and instead of this a I could use the a link call link from react router okay so now let me change to link do this exact same process here and in the link we need to tell where to go if it's empty then go to home okay or if it's a slash about then go to about us so now we have a link assigned to this nav bar so now let me go to app okay looks good so now so now let me see okay the link is not defined so we need to import that link on our nav bar from react router okay so i'll save it so now if i go, okay so if i click it about it goes to about if i click home goes to home okay looks good so far so now let's use the history okay this is complaining here if you guys think this because of course the react use a class name instead of class on the uh, html here so i just need to change this to class name and in VS Code, if you want to select everything together, then you can press a Control D. Just select this, and Control D is going to select everything, and you can change it here if you like. Okay? This is a shortcut way which you can easily implement used on your uh, code or in, in your VS Code editor. So now, if I go in Home, it goes to Home. If I go in About, it goes to About, which is fine. So now let's see that we have some of the button here in a home and when we press that button then we want to go to about Then on that time we need to take advantage of using the hook 
of call use history so now in a home component with let's say we have some button here okay let's say we have some button and button is called go to about right and in go to about we could add the event here on click and on click event we could able to use a hist history here and how we can use a history is using a use history hook and we will get a use history hook from react router so now the first thing is let's say that what the use history will give us so i will put a import i need to import this of course from uh, react router dom so now we could see the what is the inside this history first okay so i will just press this button and i will see the what is the history inside it okay so here is a go to about button so if i click it here so in a, it will give a couple of these functions here such as action block create go go back you can also do a go back if you want to you can also go go forward and it will also tell you the length of how many path it's been assigned and it's also give you the locations of the what is the current location and stuff and also we can able to push uh, which is mostly and many people will use it because this is very important functions which we, which we can use it here so on history if we want to go when we click the go to about and we want to go to about here route then we need to do a history dot push and in a push basically we just need to tell where to go okay so now i'm, I'm telling that i need to go to about so if i refresh if I click on about, now it goes directly to about. We don't have to go ahead, click it on here. Of course, it does the work here as well. But if you want to do from event, then you could take the advantage of using the use history. Okay, hook. And there is a window, another functions called window.location. Okay. I'm going to show you what the window.location does. It's doing the exact same thing. In window.location also, there are a couple of the functions which we can take advantage of it. But if we are using the React Router, then we should use the hook component instead of using this. Okay. So basically here looks like uh, there might be some ways to go to the, uh, the another route as well. I think I did that before somehow. But we should take the advantage of using the history. So now let me create another button here. And, and I want to go back to the previous one, which I went it. So on about, let me create the another button. I'll just copy the exactly the same HTML from here, from this button on about, okay? So, but on click, I just push the history. But instead of pushing the history, I want to use something called go back, okay? There should be a go back, uh, hold on, because I didn't uh, import this, of course, here. That's why it doesn't know. Okay, now it is no. So here is a go back, okay. So now, uh, instead of here, uh, change this to button name to go back, okay. So here, when I click go about, it goes to the about. But if I click go back, it goes back to the home page. OK, so of course, we could able to go back, go uh, forward. Uh, and and uh, also we could able to do the post, which is very important function, which we mostly we use. So basically, we get in using the use history hook, we could able to uh, go to different different route using the events. So what's a use location? So basically use location will give you the what is the current path it's you are in on. 
such as we have in about us we have use effect here so basically this is a life cycle of the react uh, hook uh, which we could uh, it will trigger it when the component would initialize similarly like a component will mount so on this one I'm gonna print the uh, use location okay we could also take advantage of using the use location here so on use location now if I go to the about then we will see the path that is coming from and if there is any of the a query then we could also get the query here and if the, we can also pass the state if we like such as here if we have the about author test something then we will get that path uh, basically the query parameter which we could able to parse it and we could able to get the value from the query parameter so using this location we could able to use this as well but let's assume in the home we have the about when we're pushing it on it but we could also pass the state here as you guys can see there is a state right so let me pass something here state from home okay let me pass something from from home so if i pass something from home then should i get this state here or not so let's see so whenever i go here and if i click about then we can say from home as well which is really good so whenever we use history by pushing the any uh, path here and we also need can pass the state if we like then we can easily can see from in, in another component here using the use location okay but of course if i didn't use this button to go to about then i will not see it because in this button here i added the state right so i could take the state here so basically uh, use history we could able to go a right different different route we could get more information in a history uh, parameter there and in a use location we could able to get a current location such as like query query string and we could able to parse it stuff like that and the another thing is history will also give you the uh, location information just want to give you a quick note on this one here the history i'm going to show you that one as well so when i go it on this one okay it goes back it goes go so let, let me print some history here so whenever i click the about button which is go back i just want to print the history now okay so i will show you something here as well if i go in about if i click i will see the history in history also we will get these locations here but just want to give you a difference between this locations and use location is here it's written here okay so what it really says that the history object is mutable it can be changed therefore it's recommend to access the locations for rendering for route not a history or locations to this ensure your assumptions about the react are correct in a lifecycle hook okay so we should take the advantage of using the history locations instead of uh, no no sorry not history locations location instead of the history locations but to go in different different route we should definitely use a history so i hope this will give you the uh, brief understanding of uh, the differences and also the uh, uses of the uh, use history and use locations I, if i miss anything else uh, if you guys have any suggestions please go ahead and comment it down and i'm going to record on more videos uh, for a react uh, of course and angular and full stack on the channels and please uh, subscribe it and like it if you guys like my videos and thank you very much for watching guys Bye for now.